what I would turn around and say to you, Nathan, last time I saw you, you weren't dressed this slick. You were turned around and it was a very emotional night for yourself. You had accomplished something that was a lifelong dream for yourself as well. Yep. But how do you take it all in now, three months removed from it? Oh, it's phenomenal. Just that, that, that night, I think everyone saw the emotion that happened. Particularly when I won the fight, it was, it was just everything that set up, obviously, being a massive underdog, fighting a great champion like Denzel Bentley. And obviously, performing probably the best night of me, the best performance of my career so far. It was it was amazing, obviously, and obviously to bring back a major title to the city of Stoke on Trent, and, and just and just to reward everyone that supported me every single step of the way it was just amazing. I asked you a question pre of that fight with Denzel Bentley about the importance of the British belt to you, yeah. and how prestigious that is as well. How many times have you had a look at? How many times have you shined it in yeah. in your trophy cabinet and I, taken it in? Yeah, I watched the fight too many times, but but in terms of the actual belt itself, the belt's actually tucked away now. But the whole Christmas it was under the Christmas tree. So it's a nice little decoration under there, but it, it, yeah, it meant everything to me. And it was just, and I've always said, if you win the British title, you never know what you can go on to in the future. So I've got to defend it now against bad pools, and then hopefully go on to very good things in the future. And how is that preparations going? Brad Pauls is obviously a worthy opponent. We already know in terms of his resume and what he's done in the domestic scene. How is that for you now? Yeah, it, it's, it's going really well. I'm very fortunate. I've got one of the best coaches in the country, Steve Woodbine, pushed me all the way, who, who's actually been nominated five to the year by the British Boxing and Board. Control, which is phenomenal, and he, he deserves that credit. So Steve will make sure that, just like I was for Bentley, we have to take up a level. For Brad Pauls, we're taking up a level again. We will make sure no stones are unturned and every single box is ticked to make sure that I'm ready and to, de to defend the title. And I'm guessing the final thing is you're here as a fan. And I know you're a boxing yeah. fan as well. I watch you even for your own fight. Come out here and enjoy the atmosphere. Do you have one eye on the main event? Do you have a turn and, and a little bit of a scout and a mission for yourself? Yeah, I never. I, to be fair, I never really look at other opponents in terms of future fights. But I'm certainly going to watch them because I, I really like Liam Williams. I like, I'm serious, but, but uh, Liam Williams is one of my favorite fighters. So I'd love to see I'd love to see him do well tonight. So obviously, obviously, Ham's a Queensbury boy, but if, if Liam Williams is on it, I think he could be destructive tonight. Always a student of the game. That's why I love spending time with you, Nathan. Thank Top you. man. Can't wait to see you yeah. in Birmingham as well. Bradley, this man is going to be very, very special, and he's going to start 2024 off in the way that he knows how, and that's with the Stokies behind him.